Hello everyone, it's not a new pat. Today I'm going to be explaining the anima patch which is found in the farming guild. Let's go over the basics first. Planting anima seeds requires 76 farming. The plant will last for roughly three and a half days. It can't become diseased, so you don't need to treat it with ultra compost or anything like that. So once you plant it, its effects are going to persist until it dies. Here, you can see what an anema plant looks like when it is bloomed. Then, you can see what the plant looks like when it's withered. Now, a withered anema plant's effects are still active, but this is just to let the user know that it's in its final growth stage before it dies. Finally, you can see that the anema plant has died. You can simply clear it with a spade and plant a new anema seed with a seed dibbler for the effect to resume again. The patch is in the west wing of the farming guild. Anima seeds are obtained exclusively from Hispori, which is the boss in the same wing of the farming guild. Every kill, a user is guaranteed at least one anima seed. The drop is noted in the user's game chat box like drops from any other boss. Finally, there are three different types of anima plants. Let's get into them. Here is a Kronos plant. Kronos plants have probably the most unique benefit of the three. They have the ability to cause all farming patches of the same type to skip a growth stage. For example, all of your tree patches across the game would skip a growth stage hypothetically if the effect were activated. Obviously, this is great for increasing farming XP if someone is just doing tree fruit run and hardwood tree runs to 99. Obviously, there is still a benefit to herb and allotment patches, but those stages are generally less than 30 minutes, so you're not warping much time by doing this. However, skipping a growth stage on something like a mahogany or a redwood tree that takes multiple days to grow is a big deal. Even something like a dragon fruit tree that has six stages that are all over two hours, by cutting out one growth stage, all of your trees from your run will be done two hours sooner. While this may not sound like much, over a two week period, you could end up getting two to three more fruit tree runs than you expected, which leads to a much higher average XP per day. Now, the effect is decently hard to capture on camera, but here you can see it occur with the seaweed patch. I plant the seaweed in the top patch, and while I'm harvesting the bottom patch, the seaweed grows two stages in less than a minute. As you can see here, right after planting, it is already on stage three when I check it. The next type of anema plant is the Addis plant. If you are farming for profit or doing 5 to 10 herb and allotment runs a day, this is the one you want to choose. When the Addis plant's effect is active, it increases the yield of your farming patches. For those asking, this benefits stacks with magic secretiers and compost. Again, this is amazing for increased profit and XP from herb and allotment runs. I have two examples here. In both, I do a Ranar and Snapegrass run at five different patches across the game. However, in the first, I do one without the Addis active, and the second, I do one with the Addis planted and compare the results. Now that you can see that the Addis is planted at, in the guild, I'm going to go ahead and start my second run. At the end of my run, I end up having 89 more Snapegrass and 5 more herbs. This is around 40k more profit and 7500 more XP from Snapegrass. Again, if I did 5 allotment and herb runs a day based on this data, I would hypothetically get 25 more herbs and 37,500 more XP per day. That is a huge difference. This being said, again, not everyone is doing that many herb and allotment runs, but for those who want to really increase their profit and XP per day without farming based on tree and fruit tree runs, which costs tons of money, and add a seed is awesome. Finally, there's the Iasaur plant. Iasaur plants decrease the chance of a farming patch becoming diseased by 80%. Again, this is a nice benefit for some players like Iron Man and people who don't want to spend the GP to buy a bottomless farming bucket or ultra compost. Making ultra compost is a bit of a chore for Iron Man, so this could be a nice way out of it. For both, it's either very expensive or very inconvenient to pay for protection on trees and fruit trees, so this is nice. However, I can't really recommend it comparatively. My example clip is a weak one, but this is just to remind everyone that even when something is treated with ultra compost, which adds a 90% immunity from disease, it can still become diseased and still needs to be cured. Again, a reminder is that ultra compost is 90% immunity, Super Compost is 85% immunity, while the Iasaur is just 80% immunity. 
I would have liked to seen the developers at least make this one stronger than Ultra Compost if they were going to make this seed viable. Anyways, to wrap things up, if I didn't make it clear, if you have the option, I highly recommend the Addison Kronos plants for your Anima patch. If you are only doing tree runs and only have time to spend a few minutes a day on farming and want to get to 99, I highly recommend the Kronos. It is great for high XP, long growing time items. However, if you are doing multiple herb and allotment runs a day and are farming to get extra GP, go ahead and use the Addis. The extra GP and XP from allotment and herb runs is worth it. Ultimately, it's a judgment call between the two, but you can't go wrong with either. Then, the eyesore is nice for individuals who don't want to spend the GP on compost or protection, but I would recommend on going with the others in many cases unless you're an Iron Man. That wraps up today's video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you learned something new and enjoyed the content, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to see some more of my RuneScape content, make sure to subscribe. I just made some other farming content that I'm uploading today as well. I'll make sure to link it in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.